This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Boy my peeps, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel I'm asking you please to go and just press the subscription button Press the notification bell So once I upload a video, you will be notified Alright guys, I have a good one for you guys today So a lot of persons recently have been calling for Shane Dorich To make a return to the test team Now the fact that Joshua Da Silva Who is our current test wicket keeper you know, failed against Sri Lanka and would have failed against South Africa in all four innings. You know, simply means that Shane Dorich cannot be too far from the selector's mind. Can't be too far from making a return. Now, we are going to zoom in on Dorich's numbers. Also going to focus on the last series he played and why he had to leave. Now, the right-handed wicketkeeper batsman is from Barbados and made his test debut in and home series against Australia in 2015. So we see that he has been around for quite some time now. You know, he made his debut in 2015. Now, this selection came as a result of a strong 2014-2015 domestic season. So as you can imagine, he was able to pile up some runs in the 2014-2015 um, domestic season. Now, we are talking about 16, 615 runs in 10 matches. Scoring at an average of 51.25. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, 51.25. He was rewarded instantly. As not, as not very often, my viewers and subscribers, we have batsmen really scoring at such a healthy average in our first class cricket, especially a wicket keeper. So, having scored 615 runs in 10 matches, he was rewarded with a call up. Now, before we really look at his test stats, I would just like to remind you guys that in 2010, Shane Dorich was a part of the Under-19 World Cup team that competed in New Zealand. Now, the talent, the talent was always there for everyone to see, and I guess that's why a lot of persons have been calling for him to feature more. You understand? Because persons would have been tracking his career from round about, um, you know, 2008, nine before he, he went off to the 2010 World Cup. You know, a couple of persons would have seen that boy, this is a talented youngster, both with the gloves and with the bat. So persons have been calling for him. Now, let us now view his numbers as it regards to the international level. And as per usual, guys, I am going to be taking my stats from the ESPN Crick Info website. Because you know I can't reel off everything off my head. So you can, for clarification or, or, or for confirmation, you can just check ESPN Crick Info. Alright, having played 35 test matches and batting in 62 innings, Dorich has been able to score 1,570 runs. And his high score is 125 not out. Yeah, man, so 1,570 runs with a high score of 125. So we see that this is a man that knows how to get over arm um, past the three-figure score. Now, the little right-hander has scored three centuries and nine half centuries. You understand? So it's not like he's a man that oftentimes get into the into the into the fifties, sixties and don't convert. I mean his conversion rates can be better, yes, because he would have managed to 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 pick up, as I said just now, um nine and a half centuries and he has only managed to convert three times. But that isn't too bad for a wicket keeper because most of the time you want a wicket keeper to come in and give you a nice 60, 70. So um, not so bad. Now, Dorit so far has remained not out eight times. So as it regards to batting in test cricket and batting down, probably coming in at six or seven, you know, he, he was able to remain not out and a couple of times, eight times to be exact. Now, he scores at a healthy strike rate. We're talking about a strike rate of 46.99. So we see that the little man usually scores his runs pretty um in at pretty nippy rate. You understand? So um 1570 runs with three centuries and nine half centuries. We see that this is somebody that knows the international game, know how to bat and all of that. So you know I I I I would understand why persons wouldn't want to see him just go down the drain like that. 
Yeah, man, guys. So that is what his test numbers look like. Now, while you ponder on those numbers, my viewers and subscribers, and let me know in the comment section what you think about these numbers, please go, please go ahead to hit the like button. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And as I said in the comment section, let me know what you think about um, Dorothy's numbers. Now, moving on, my viewers and subscribers. When it comes on to ODI matches, he has only played one game, scoring six runs. And I doubt my fans really, you know, I doubt the, the, the fans of the channel, you know, are we really worried about the ODI um, spot as regards to keeping. Because we have uh, we have Puran, Nicholas Puran and Shea Hope is also there. So the mere fact that Dorich wouldn't have featured in much uh, ODI cricket, I doubt the, the, the West Indies supporters are really worried about that. I think they are just worried about a test wicket keeper that can stay, come in and bat at 6 or 7 and give us a good 60, 70 and an add 100 here and there. So him not playing much ODI cricket isn't of concern. You understand? It is, it is because of its, its test um, quality why persons are worried. Now, in list A cricket, Dorich has played 39 games. Scoring 4,764 runs, my viewers and subscribers, with a top score of 131 not out. So we see that the man knows how to bat. The man knows how to score runs. You understand? We're not talking about a man just go down and make 20 and 30 every now and again. And we are talking about 728 half centuries. You understand? This gives him a healthy average of 33.31. So, um, in this year cricket, is not too bad at all. Not a lot of um, wicked keeper batsmen we can find playing this year cricket that their numbers are better than this. So, we definitely want to know what is happening with Shane Dorich. And as persons are saying, it is time for him to draw closer to the setup once again. No, his wicket keeping skills are pretty good. Usually very agile behind the behind the stump, and he's also very vocal as he regards to um you know motivating his bowlers, especially the spin bowlers when they are on. So Dorich is also you know my viewers and subscribers also a part of history. Yeah, man, he's a part of the history books, as he was a part of the third highest seventh wicket partnership in Test cricket, and we are talking about that two hundred and ninety five. That was scored between himself and Jason Hola. A lot of persons will remember that innings. It was a pretty good innings there by, by both players. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So having looked at his numbers, let us just now zoom in on the latest as it regards to Shane Dorich and what we know. Now, in the latter part of last year, I think it was around about December, yeah, man, when we went and toured New Zealand, Dorich was with the team at that point in time and was expected to feature um, throughout the entire, uh, the entire tour. Now, he picked up an a injury. I think it was, it was a finger that he got, that, that got injured. And, you know, he was the first choice we could keep. Let me just remind you there. Because we, 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 didn't, um, we weren't exposed to Joshua Da Silva yet or anything of the sort. So, in that tour against New Zealand last year, Shane Dorich was the first class we could keep. And, as I said, he sustained an injury. But, according to the West Indies selectors and coach, I mean, when they, when they, when they made it public, they said that boy, um, you know, he, he had returned home. But it was for personal reason and not because of the injury that he, 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 he had sustained. So CWI, that's Cricket West Indies, they made it clear that Shane Dorich returned home because of personal reasons and it wasn't as a result of um it wasn't as a result of the, the injury. And I mean we don't we don't know my viewers and subscribers. All we can do is speculate as to why he returned home. But we all know that boy, you know, a lot was going on last year as regards to the health condition and the health crisis. So um, probably he had to return home to, to, to be with his family or whatever. I'm not sure what happened. But CWI made it clear that the fact that he returned he was home, it wasn't because of the injury. It was because of personal reason. No, it was, it was um, at this point, my viewers and subscribers, that Joshua De Silva was added to the squad. And, you know, he has been around the team since. And that is how he was able to establish himself. 
Um, he, he was there in New Zealand, and then when we went when we went over there to uh to Bangladesh, he went and he had a good um campaign. I think he even got ninety seven at one point in time. So, um, that is how she uh you know Joshua da Silva announced himself. He took the opportunity when Shane Dorich was out. So yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers. Having said this, we still aren't sure what is happening with Dorich. And I hope through all of this, my viewers and subscribers, whatever the matter is, you know, he will rise above it and will make a return pretty soon because he's pretty talented. And I think he's around about 30 No, Yeah, man, I think he's about 30. So still have a couple of years at the international level once he's performing. Still maybe a good five, six years once he's, he's able to, to bat and keep and, and, and keep himself fit. And, you know, I, I mean, I, I saw the other day where a couple of videos were floating around on social media of him doing a couple of work. Um, well, it was actually a subscriber that sent it to me of him doing some work in the nets, working and, and, and pulling the ball and all of that. So we're hoping that Dorit is good and his mindset is good and he's um, thinking about making a return. So there you have it, guys. Our talented wicked keeper batsman, Shane Dorit, is still around. But we are just not sure what is happening and when he will be able to make um, a, a comeback or a return. And with Joshua Da Silva, uh, my viewers and subscribers, uh, hitting, hitting a bad pitch right now or going through a bad run of farm, it would be pretty nice to have Shane Dorich there to apply some pressure. Because in all honesty, uh, the, the, the other wicket keeper, Jamar Hamilton, somebody that works very hard at his game. You know, he, he's usually very good behind the stump, but as regards to his batting, um, he's known for his batting. So it would be nice if Shane Dorich is there to apply some pressure and, and thing. And as I said, guys, Nicholas Puran is there. If it, probably he will eventually become our wicket keeper. But, you know, they are using him mostly in the ODI these days. So we definitely need Shane Dorich to come up and to apply some pressure to Joshua De Silva. Now, my viewers and subscribers, there you have it. And as I said, Sharon Dorich is still around, and we are definitely awaiting, you know, an, a, a, a response or awaiting something from CWI as, to, to come out and tell us what is happening with Shane Dorich and, you know, how, how, how we are going to move forward. Because we cannot just have um, Joshua De Silva there. And if it is the case that they don't plan to use she hope as a wicked keeper and bat him in the middle order then you know we're going to need a a, a, a next wicked keeper because if she hope if they plan to continue with she hope at the top of the order then we know that boy we're going to need a wicked keeper and if joshua de silva is not performing then somebody must be there to apply some pressure so that is it my viewers and subscribers as it regards to, to shane dorich his numbers aren't too bad at all i mean three centuries at the at the test level and what um, I think around about seven or eight half centuries. So, um, yeah, man, nine half centuries. So we know that there is some talent there. And, you know, he's, he would have shown that he's able to play fast pitch, um, fast bowling. And he's able to, to, to manage himself as he regards to spin. So we definitely want to see Shane Dorich in and around the team. Whatever the, the problem is, it is not beneficial to our cricket. So we definitely want everything to be squashed. So he can make a return. Gonna leave this one right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. Please remember, guys, if you have not yet hit that subscription button, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet liked the video, go ahead and like the video. And as per usual, go down in the comment section, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about the video. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. As I said, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Big up on yourself. I'm out.